Hey guys, so I thought it might be kind of fun for me to record our video here in the airport. So yes, it's Thursday and you're gonna watch this on Friday, but I thought this might be something kind of fun. Also, it gives a great example that you can do a Bible study anywhere you're at. So today for our devotion, we are still doing our Advent Sea Sun and we are Friday week three and we're gonna read Psalm 34, one through three and then verse eight. So Psalm 34, one through three says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. And then verse eight says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. And that definitely speaks to me because past week has been kind of a struggle a little bit at different times, you know, with all that we have going on and all the busyness and, and all the extra things that happen this time of year. Um, I know that his praises have not been continually in my mouth at different points. And so I'm glad to be reminded of this. I really am. With you guys, with your midterms and everything, you might be feeling that too, that there are times where, you know, there's been a lot of complaints in your mouth versus a lot of praising. But anyway, let's go ahead and keep going here. Let's let the Lord minister to us. Let's open our mouths this week. Are you a talker? Uh-oh, I think it's talking to me. Then this psalm is for you. Open your mouth this week or your Twitter feed or Instagram and start praising. Praise God continually, the psalmist says. Don't have a gift for Gab? Then this psalm is still for you. Simply the way you carry yourself around, your soul, you might say, speaks louder than words. Let your whole self be the way others hear and see the sun. Or maybe your mouth is more suited for the sweet treats of the season. Then this psalm is for you. Let the sweet and savory season, seasonings of the season remind you of the goodness that fills us as Jesus draws near. Okay, so here's our challenge. Are you ready? I'm kind of excited. Okay, because I hope it's going to tell me to eat a lot of sweet things. So open your mouth this season. It's easy to see opportunities to feed the hungry as Christmas approaches. Challenge yourself beyond this season. Schedule a regular time to help at a food pantry this coming year. I think that's a good challenge for our senior youth, don't you? Hmm, I'll look into that. In fact, I will be very um, intentional about looking into that. All right, friends, I will see you tomorrow.